Hi friends, today in this video, let us see how to communicate with the drive through the PLC. Now I am opening the project TIA portal. After create new project and assign the project name, I am giving here communication of drive with the PLC. After that, create button will be visible. Click on it. After that, configure a device. Next, add new device. Next, our controller is Symmetric S7 1200 CPU CPU 1214C AC DC relay. In the third option is available. Double click on it. Third option, double click on it. Controllers Symmetric S7 1200 CPU. Next, CPU 1214C AC DC relay. In the third option double click on the third option after that go to the program blocks before going to that go to network queue and we should add our drive it is visible on right side other field devices next profinet ivo next go to the drives in the first one go to the drives Siemens AG next go to Cinemics in that we should check our drive which is visible on drive back side our drive is Cinemics G120 CU250S PN Vector version 4.7 double click on it after that we should connect the PLC to the drive There is a green color uh, rectangle. You should join those both with the help of mouse. After check the IP address. The IP address should not be same for both. Next, double click on the drive. And when the drive appears, open the drive. Device overview. Then next, we should add the telegram. Standard telegram. It is there in the sub modules. In that standard telegram pzd 2 by 2 drag and drop there okay it output is 64 and 67 qw 64 and 67 input is 68 and 71 we should remember the outputs after that drag whole over and compile the drive and the plc there are zero errors and zero warnings after that download check the port which we have connected i have connected here realtech then after click on the start search it will show our plc plc1 s7 1200 then after click on the load Then after, if no action appears, click on the stop all. Then after, load it. After finish. Then click on the program blocks. In that main OBA appears, double click on the main OBA. A network one will appears. Now we should write the program here. I am taking here a NVO normally opened. I am giving here the block title. Drive communication with the PLC. I am giving here the block title. Let first first let us see the drive enable. I am giving here the input address i0.0 .0. Output we should take the blue block right side instru instructions 
in that move operations click on it drag and drop the move we should give here the input 16 hash 4 7 e we should give this for mod drive enable and the output we should give here we should check the output double click on the drive output address is 64 means we should give here qw64 as output next let us see drive forward again i am taking here a switch and wo first one is switch one that means enable switch i am giving the tag enable and next i0.1 which is for the forward drive forward i am giving here the tag forward next again i am taking another new move block drag and drop here i am giving here the input 16 ash 47 f for drive forward i am giving here output for the same drive qw 64 next for drive reverse Again, I am taking the switch and wo, which is I zero point two. Again, I am taking a, another new block. I am giving here input sixteen S zero C seven F. Output I am giving QW64. Next, drive speed. I am taking an another NVO and I am taking I0.3 and I am taking first I am assigning the tag that is speed. And after again I am taking another move block drag and drop here for the drive speed I am giving the input IW64 which we can do with the PLC and output QW66 which is for the drive I am giving here the output tag that is the motor motor or a drive Okay, last QW66 is for speed. Speed of drive. After writing the program, we should check the program so that we will know the errors and the warnings. Compile the program. There are zero warnings and zero errors. Then after that, download the program to the device. Then load the program. After downloading the program, go to the monitor mode, which is available in specs icon. Now let us check the drive. Now I enabled the drive. The drive is enabled now. And I am warning 0.1 which is motor forward. The motor is rotating in the forward direction. Now 0.3 I clicked. 
which means the speed i am reducing the speed there i reduced the speed there and i am clicking the speed button the speed has, is is now very slow now i am increasing the speed again and i enabled speed button now it is rotating fastly we can vary the speed there now i am clicking i 0.2 which is the reverse the drive is running on reverse direction now i want to stop the drive i am clicking 0.0 enable button the drive is now stopped thank you for watching